This wild weather seems to be the new norm, but U.S. President Barack Obama has an ambitious plan to change that. He made an impassioned speech today saying no challenge poses a greater threat to our future than a changing climate. His plan takes aim at power plants, giving them 15 years to drastically cut greenhouse gas emissions. As Jennifer Johnson reports, Obama is hoping other countries, including Canada, will follow his lead. Join us. We can do this. It's time for America and the world to act. With a flashy PR video, President Obama today announced the Clean Power Plan, mandating steeper greenhouse gas cuts from U.S. power plants, a 32 percent reduction by the year 2030. Cars and trucks will have to cut emissions, too. The goal is to reduce carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, the biggest culprit in global warming. Levels of carbon dioxide, which heats up our atmosphere, are higher than they've been in 800,000 years. 2014 was the planet's warmest year on record. The president says global warming is causing more costly natural disasters. Hotter summers, rising sea levels, extreme weather events like stronger storms, deeper droughts, and longer wildfire seasons. Environmentalists fear sea levels could rise five meters over the next 50 to 100 years. If we get sea level rise of several meters, all coastal cities become dysfunctional. The plan calls for more use of wind and solar energy, systems that are costly to build, and energy companies say consumers will foot the bill. Critics aren't buying any of this. I don't think it's as significant as a problem as the president is stating. Yes, the climate is changing. Yes, man-made emissions are having an impact. But we're not headed towards catastrophic climate change. We have actually seen global surface temperature increase in 18 years. Most of the power plant emission cuts will come from retiring coal-fired facilities. And that has the National Mining Association furious. Today it asked the Environmental Protection Agency to put these new rules on hold while legal challenges play out in court. Both Canada and the U.S. have taken heat for not doing enough to stop global warming. President Obama hopes if the U.S. takes the lead, other countries will show their support at the U.N.'s Climate Change Conference later this year in Paris. Jennifer Johnson, Global News, Washington.